All right, what is up everyone? So today I wanted to show you a new feature that we have on Mintable's whitelisting. So this has been something that's been requested for a long time and it's been on the site, it's been uh, you know active for at least a couple months now, but I haven't really done any tutorials on it yet. So that's what I'm doing today. If you don't know what whitelisting is, it's basically to only allow certain wallets to be able to mint from your collection. So a lot of creators will do this because they'll have an active, you know, active community and they only want a subset of people, maybe the most loyal fans or maybe people who have won some kind of competition to be able to mint from their collection. And then later on, they'll open it to the public. So this is a way of building hype for your collection. You can see here that I've created a very simple project. I just called it colors. It just has eight different colors that is in this collection and could be minted. Now I've already deployed this contract. You can tell if I come over here to deployment and click on contract, it's already been deployed. So if you don't know how to deploy a contract on Mintables, take a look at previous videos that I've made and it's all explained there. You can get a step-by-step -step walkthrough for how to deploy a new collection on Mintables. Right now, I'm just gonna show you how the whitelisting works. So you can see here, there's a allow list tab. So allow list and whitelists, they're the same thing. And if I come here and I put in my address, so this is a wallet address that I have, and I will add that. It'll ask me to sign this. And what this is saying is it's gonna basically generate a secret password that only really works for this wallet address uh, for my collection. So if I sign this, you'll see that this has been added to the allow list. Now this is not the same address that I created this contract with, it's a different address that, that I also own. The other thing that I need to do is come down here. So I need to enable pre-sale only. Right now, this collection is active, and that just means that anybody, any wallet can mint from this collection. But that's not what I want. I only want this one address to be able to mint from this collection. So I'll show you what that means real quick. If I open up the minting page, you can see that the wallet address I'm connected as is 0xea. But the wallet address that I added to the allow list is 0x66. Even though I'm not on the allow list, I can still mint from this. And I don't want that. So I'm gonna turn on pre-sale only. And this will also ask you to um, confirm this transaction because this is actually changing it on the blockchain. This will prevent people from being able to mint directly through Polygon scan or Ether scan. Uh, and this will take about five minutes to take effect, right? Everything that you do on the blockchain takes a little bit of time to take effect. So I'll come back here in five minutes and we can keep going with this tutorial. Okay, great. So that was a lot faster than five minutes. It actually was about 10 seconds. Um, and you can see here that the pre-sale has turned into allow public. This just means that it's in a pre-sale only mode. So now if I come back here and refresh this page, you can see that it says pre-sale only check back later. If I connect to this minting page with the wallet, with this wallet, 0x669, you can see that it says I am on the whitelist and I'm able to mint this. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple to use. Obviously, you can add more than one address here. You can add as many as you like. And at some point later on, once your pre-sale is over, you can just come down here and click Allow Public. And that would allow anybody to be able to mint from your collection. So yeah, I hope this feature is useful.